here at Bradford, and as y'all can see, we had nothing other than Kicks R Us. You know what I'm saying? Out here in West Shore Mall, I'm about to give y'all an exclusive look. So I can look over here at our right. We got the miscellaneous wall right here. Definitely got a lot of heat. So I'm gonna pull out a couple different shoes for y'all to really give y'all an inside look on what exactly they got here. I mean, we just looking at Air Maxes. We got these Atmos Air Maxes. If you're a true sneakerhead, y'all know these are one of the most iconic Air Maxes ever. That's one of the shoes they got over here. And if we're not even looking at just at Air Maxes, we got good old fear of god i don't really know how i feel about these honestly i'm not a big they're a little bit too high for me but i definitely think a lot of people will love them shout out kobe he got all the kobe you know what i'm saying we got all of them the grinches we got them all so he got a lot of heat and another dope thing one of the best shoes i've seen over here are these undefeated kobe's and without a doubt this is an iconic kobe and with the fact that it's an undefeated collab, so you really can't go wrong with that at all. And also, as you can see, he got all the different bags. We got Supreme, Bait, Spray Ground. He really got it all. And uh, so that's pretty much it for this is the full rundown of all the miscellaneous and different shoes they have. You know, they got phones. They got them all, really. They got some more undefeated Air Maxes. They really got it all. So. And just so y'all know, this is only one area that we're looking at. As y'all can see, we got a lot more in the store. So we can make a quick little run over here. Right here, I ain't gonna lie, this is a really, this is another heat wall. So the way he broke this one down is right here, we got all Yeezy, and then it runs all the way down to all the kids. But as y'all can see, he got pretty much any Yeezy slide, the foam runners, Drop down in the comments what y'all think about these Red October uh, foam runners. To me, I ain't gonna lie, they're pretty fire. I just don't think I could ever wear this because it looks almost like uh, a swim swimming shoe or even like a just a uh, high-end croc, you know what I'm saying? But these, these new Yeezy 350s are definitely fire. I like this new little look that they're adding to the shoe. But I mean, you really can't go wrong. You got human races, old school human races. These ones, without a doubt, one of my favorite human races ever. I think a lot of people slept on these, but just with the black and uh, white with the gray little accent, you really can't go wrong with them at all. And then we go a little bit over, we got more, you know what I'm saying? Easy. And then right here, we got all the dunks and then all the kids. And right here, this is all the women's and just pretty much the kid size. So I mean, look at these, we got the satin shatter backboard ones, these bitches are beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You got your girl these, you know what I'm saying? She should be able to do any and everything, if you know what I'm saying. But, I mean, you really can't go wrong. You got a lot of old school stuff and a lot of new stuff. These cactus jack, these are fire to me. A lot of people slept on these, without a doubt. You don't really see them a lot either. But I mean, if you keep going, you really got it all. We got the fragment threes right here. Which one are y'all messing with more out of both of these? I already have the Alma Marie 3s, but I don't have the Fragment 3s. And just going off looks, I don't know. It's a hard thing. But, I mean, you really can't go wrong with either design, honestly. But, so that's all the Yeezy and then all the women's broke down. I already showed y'all the miscellaneous, so now we're going to go to another uh, area. Oh, before, I even forgot to show y'all. So this case right here, this is pretty much... The breakdown of all the heat stuff and if y'all can really see these are a pair of jordan ones for 97. We got the original box we got the trophy room ones right here with with the ticket that it comes with those you really can't a lot of people don't have these. if we go further down he got all three off whites so these ones the white ones only came out in europe you got the unc and then you got the chicago ones out of all three of these i hate to say it i'm probably going with the unc ones just because i'm a big fan of those and if you go down, we got the original flu games as well. He got a lot of heat inside of here. And a lot of y'all might just think this is a normal one. But if you really zoom in close, these are the fragment ones. A lot of people don't really know about these unless you're a true sneakerhead. And at the very bottom, we got all three Supreme Dunks. Out of all three of these, I definitely mess them with the black and white ones because it's something that you can wear with any and everything and always step out in style. So that's kind of all this and if we keep walking we can go right here 
So this right here, this is pretty much the heat wall and pretty much everything that he has in store that's really gonna catch your eye. And as y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? Just off the first look, we got the Grateful, Grateful Dead Dunks. You know what I'm saying? Another shoe that a lot of people are either hit or miss about are these Kith Forces. And I'm sorry, the Kai uh, Jordan 1. I'm not gonna lie, it's definitely one of those dope things. Like he has a lot of different styles to the shoes. And just brings it brings it to life, you know what I'm saying? And then he got a lot more as well. We got Supreme 14. A lot of people slept on these, like the blue, the blue ones. I'm gonna see if he has them here today, but these are fire. You really can't go wrong with these at all. These not for resale ones. A lot of people, if unless you've really been in the sneaker game, you haven't really been aware of these. But the funny thing about these are on each two it says please no resell. And the thing that's funny about these certain stores whenever you caught these shoes they actually made you put these on and hit push-ups to let you to pretty much not make you resell the shoe it's kind of funny the way they did that and then we even go over without a doubt this is an iconic grill for me these are the off-white pressos the first one ever my personal opinion i think this is the best off-white collab that virgil's ever actually dropped and another dope iconic one right here we got the sean witherspoons this is one of those shoes that a lot of people slept on at first just because it's kind of that a lot of different colors. It has a Cordier look, but overall, you can't go wrong. Also, right here, you can attach this, and it has different little things that you can put on. It comes with different laces. So it's one of those shoes that you really can't go wrong with. As well, if you look up here, we got both the unions. Out of both of these, these are probably the two best colors, but I'm probably... The guavas are, are pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie, but I probably have to go with the black unions just because it's something that you can wear with any and everything. And if you're gonna look out here, we got the Dior Converse, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a big Dior person, but you could definitely rock those and have a crazy hard fit. And another dope thing, you got these uh, Thanksgiving dunks with the special box. That's something that you don't really see a whole lot. And if you look up at the very, very top, you got the Calls 4. That's an iconic Jordan 4 that really shaped the culture for a lot of different brands, especially just being able to do collabs with Jordan. So definitely shout out Calls. That's one of the best collabs that Jordan has ever done. And also, I don't really know why people love these so much, but he has these big Calls dolls right here. And a lot of people love them so much. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong, but I think just for one of those, it goes for like $2,000, which I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't paying that much for a toy, but it's kind of dope if you got it. You know what I'm saying? And if we keep going over here, as you can see, he got it all. You know what I'm saying? We got clothes, we got all that. And if you can see over here, we got the basketball hoop. Without a doubt, I'm definitely gonna have to get that basketball. You know what I'm saying? Shoot that, let y'all know that I really am shooting baskets out here. You know what I'm saying? And if we come over here, For all the kids out there, you can't go wrong here either. You know what I'm saying? We got all the gray schools, you know what I'm saying? Can't go wrong with these. The tie-dye ones, you know. These ones, we got an early release right here. These are the um, patent leather bread ones I just released that are coming out. And if you guys can really see on the inside, it's a family. And it's one of those things that a lot of people don't actually know about. I'll show you more of a close-up if they have one that's not wrapped up. But I mean, look at these. We got baby travis's like he got it all you know what i'm saying if you come over here we got the strawberry milkshake and the chocolate uh shake without a doubt i will say the kids ones look a little bit better just because i'm more of a fan of the lows and the highs but if you keep going as well look at all this like we got baby full gray 11s already we got supreme wheaties you know what i'm saying he got it all and the dope thing about him, every area has its own little style to it. So that's the one thing that I always will say about Kicks R Us. They always have their own little style that really allows you to kind of get a vibe whenever you walk in here. And another dope thing, like, they got Supreme Forces. Like, they really got it all. Look at the baby box. Like, you really can't go wrong with this. They got the Supreme Gun, you know what I'm saying? The BMX uh, Supreme. They got the Chucky doll. Like, they really got it all. The craziest thing are those Supreme um, Timberlands right there, you know what I'm saying? You wear those, you gotta have to beat a nigga ass with that American flag, you feel me? And then we keep going right here. This right here is a little crazy. You don't really see this much, you know what I'm saying? That's how you know Kickstarter is really doing it. We got the Supreme Honda Dirt Bike, you know what I'm saying? Without a doubt, you really can't go wrong with this, you know what I'm saying? You got the Supreme, it got it all. 
So without a doubt, if y'all looking for something big like this, Pixar is the place to be. And right over here, we can go to another little area. Well, actually, before we start here, we can look at a couple of different little clothes, you know what I'm saying? He got slides for all the girls, you know what I'm saying? Palm angels, you really can't go wrong, you know what I'm saying? He got socks, fake socks, he really got it all. If you need a full fit or just something clean, Kicks or Us is the place to be, I promise you that. And then if you look over here, so right here is pretty much all the Jordan wall, just different things like that. They have also fitted hats for you, know what I'm saying? So Kicks or Us, if you really need any or everything, you know what I'm saying, this is a place to be, without a doubt. And then like, just for, just for prime examples, he got new stuff and he got old stuff. Like look at these championship seven. Like a lot of people don't be knowing these, but look at the detail that Jordan used to have. Like these shoes are just unbelievable. And if we keep even going down, like we got white cement threes. Like this is an iconic shoe right here. Like a lot of true sneakerheads. This is one of my favorite Jordans ever. You know what I'm saying? And like we can look at the news. You got the white Oreo fours, and we could go to the new to the old. You know what I'm saying? Like we got these right here. The first Bel Air 5s, this really changed the game. It really allowed a lot of people to be able to make those collabs and love 5s, you know what I'm saying? And then he has a brand new Bel Air 5s. I'm not gonna lie, the old ones blow the old one, the new ones out the water. Without a doubt, I will try to get these in my collection one day. It is a must talk. But one of the shoes that are my personal favorite are the Patone 11. It's one of those shoes that had a special release. I believe they only released in Chicago and LA. But at the end of the day, it's one of those 11s that not a lot of people have. It's that baby blue color that you can really wear with any and everything and people are gonna rock with it. And as well, like he got the Concord 11s with the 45 on the back. Like he really, they really got it all here. I promise y'all that like anything that you like, I promise you it's a place to be. Like even if I'm pulling down a fit and hat, like, we got this little fitted hat right here, like Tampa Bay, 10 year season, like orange brim. Like you can't go wrong here at all. Like we got it all. And then if we even go further down, like we can we can look at a couple different things. Like let me give y'all a little shoe that a lot of y'all may not know about right here. Like look at these. I actually forget what the name of these are, but I remember these came out, I believe my ninth or 10th grade year. But if you really look at the details, it's a 3M picture but it's almost like a Chinese guy playing basketball. And whenever you take a picture, all this reflects, and I'll show you guys an actual close up of what it looks like whenever it flashes. But without a doubt, it has a 10, you know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong with this. We got the Travis Scott sixes. This is arguably the two shoes that I sold whenever I was younger that I wish I had back. We got the reverse infrared sixes and the gold sixes without a doubt both of these are one of those fire shoes that you don't really see a lot around anymore so that's one of the main things why i wish i would have kept it because it's two shoes that you really can't go wrong with at all and then also right here we got a couple call clothes like even if we pull out a couple of different shirts like this shirt hard like we got the, like the travis scott fragments like he really got it all here you know what i'm saying you really can't go wrong shopping here you know what i'm saying Make sure y'all really tap in. I don't know how are you past these. We got the off-white Jordan 4s. This is a woman's shoe, so you will have to get your size according to if you're a, a, a woman. So for example, like I wear a 10 and a half, so I wear a 12 in these. Definitely without a doubt, price went crazy on these. So hopefully one day, whenever I actually do get booming, this will be one of the first big checks that I actually get for myself. But if we keep going down, it's crazy. As y'all can see, like, We've only showed y'all half of the store. We still got another half and the back of the store. So really make sure y'all tap in it and just keep watching. I promise we got a lot more in store. And then this is another dope thing that he just added into the store. You know what I'm saying? You could easily cop some shoes, take a hard, hard picture sitting here with the Kicks RS in the back. You know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong here. You know what I'm saying? It's a very iconic store. It has a lot of own style that it brings to it. What sneaker stores do y'all see looking at this? And if you even come really close, like this ain't no chair that's no cheap or anything like that. Like. Bit, I'm really feeling like a king when I'm getting in this. You know what I'm saying? That bit solid. It got all that. But if y'all can see, if we go further down, we got more of the Jordan area. So right here, 
this is still like the men. So like, for example, we got the LA to Chicago ones, like these. The dope thing about these shoes, so if you get acetone, and you wipe this off, it turns black to red. So that's why the shoes call the LA. That's why it's purple and yellow, and they'll turn to a black and red for the uh, the Chicago look. And like even he got all the dunks at the top too. So like anything you ne you need, like the community garden dunks. Like these are one of the uh, dunks that really have a lot of style that looks different. But I promise you, a lot of people are gonna be uh, wanting to cop these shoes later on down the road. So it is a good investment. Dunks without a doubt are one of those shoes that you'll always be able to make some type of money so if you want to make money reselling without a doubt go with dunks that's a new wave nowadays and you're guaranteed to always make money and another shoe let me know how y'all feel about this we got the j balvin ones without a doubt i will say it's an iconic shoe because jordan has never dropped a shoe this colorful or just this type of design so i do mess with that i would love to have it in my collection but i will say it's one of those shoes that i'll probably wear once or twice you know what i'm saying just to kind of let, let y'all know that i have them but it's one of those shoes that it's really hard to match with so i really wouldn't wear it but it is a dope shoe shout out j balvin but these right here we got the bread toast satin ones these right here are next level and this is the shoe that i'm thinking about copping next just due to the mere fact that I need a pair of uh, black toe ones. And the satin look, a lot of people don't know about it, but it adds such a cool look to the shoe. And it has really good material compared to a lot of other shoes. And like, if we keep moving down, like for example, we got twos down here. Like a lot of people slept on these Black History Month twos. It has a lot of style, you know what I'm saying? With the BHM Black History Month right there. Like you can't go wrong with these, but it got all the different designs. It's one of those dope shoes that you can really wear with any and everything. Then if we keep going, like we got the OG shattered back four ones. Like that's how you know they're DS and old. Like if you look at it, it got that little sparkle. A lot of ones do that, especially whenever they're old and DS because of the paper. So these are definitely one of those shoes that without a doubt like look how much they're going for 2000 that's crazy and i didn't even know he was that rookie of the year ones without a doubt is just crazy to me you know what i'm saying i wish i could pull this out it has all his actual stats of his rookie year on this so it's one of those shoes I'm big on shoes that have a lot of stories behind it, you know what I'm saying? It adds a lot of value, you know what I'm saying? And that's one of the dope things with uh, being a sneakerhead. Each shoe has its own different story or own reason for you to love that shoe. So I always recommend that. Yeah, I just like to say, give a special shout out to Kicks R Us. I got exclusive shoes for y'all about to come out. So the first shoe we're going to be looking at today, nothing other than the red patent leather ones. This is a GS size, but I just want you to look at the detail on this shoe. This shoe is just absolutely beautiful. And the one thing that a lot of people don't know about, and it's actually the grade school all the way to the men's, it says family on the inside. Like that just is so dope to me, you know what I'm saying? And that's the first shoe. Keep that up right there. The next shoe, it's another pair of Jordan 1. got the Bordo ones these come out this saturday so definitely recommend y'all definitely putting you know what i'm saying doing whatever you need to do to be able to cop these you know what i'm saying you can't go wrong with these the style and just the color is just really eye-catching and the dope thing about these they come with another pair of laces the adult size come with the white pair of laces too this is another grade school but i mean you can't go wrong without a doubt both of these first two shoes for an exclusive look nike killed these you know what i'm saying and then if we look at the last and final shoe there's nothing other than you know what the cool gray 11s these things right here everyone and their mama gonna be trying to get these in december so either you know what i'm saying you got to get them now and pay that little extra or just put in as many raffles as y'all can you know what i'm saying these shoes right here are a must cop must cop it's one of those OG Cool Gray 11 shoes that just has so much story behind it that really adds value to not only your collection, but it's a dope shoe that you can really wear with any and everything. So that three early looks that I'm giving y'all. So not only did I give y'all a quick exclusive look at everything that Kickstarter has for y'all, but I gave y'all three looks at three different shoes 
early. So the main thing is, if y'all like any of these, make sure you put in the raffles and just keep showing constant love and support. I appreciate y'all more than life itself. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, share, and turn those post notifications out. And once again, shout out Will and Kicks R Us. Definitely gonna be coming back here to do another video and I'm out, peace.